We're going to let uh, YouTube uh, let everybody know that I'm on here. I'll just make a little small adjustment here. So this is the painting I am currently working on. Hey, welcome. Um, I thought I would show you. There's, there's some more stuff to do here in this foreground to really tidy it up. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to show you two pieces. So it's good to do a series and pull this piece right here for you. So this, hey, welcome. This is a lovely painting I just recently did. We have another one over here. It's a smaller one. Let me grab it. And I want to show you how you can get some wonderful pieces going. So look at this one. Uh, very similar setup, right? You got that boat, okay? But look, not much is going on in our dock over here uh we've got some people over here but just kind of just this is just adding ambiance to the scene this is like just um showing scale you know these people could go in the door these people could probably go up on this boat but let's give it some movement and that's what's going on here this scene we now have some actual workers. This isn't, uh, you know, a ghost town per se. Uh, so I just wanted to show, you know, you might do these smaller ones, which this one sells for 367 And this one is twice as big, okay? Not quite twice as big, but pretty darn close. I also want to show you another lovely painting I did over the weekend. So thank you for everybody that made wonderful comments uh, over last week's video. I hopefully I got back to everybody's comments. This is a mission in California. And I was just there. This is actually Santa Barbara. Hey, Doc. Oh, I like that. Thank you, Doc. Um, so, my goal is to paint more of these missions. Sally, hello from Berkshire County, Massachusetts. Hello. I just talked to some ladies from Massachusetts. Uh, really nice gals. And um, so, I was really happy with this piece. I wanted to finish just a little bit more here, but a tour bus came and parked right there. <laughs> uh, there is a cool coffee cart, but I left that out. And so I kind of moved a little more of this tree. This tree, I moved it over this way. Um, but we get this really nice sense of mourning. And... Uh, she says, I mean, oh, right on, cool. Gotcha, I'm tracking. And then let's go ahead and look at another painting. I just uh, finished this morning. So this one here is another dock piece. Um, what we got here is I'm using a new easel setup too. I'm using this Cheap Joe's. Thank you to Cheap Joe's for giving me this cool easel. Maybe if I have time, I will give you a little more look at it. If you all were at Watercolor Live, this was the easel that I, I uh, introduced to everybody. Um, this is a lovely piece here. Uh, why? Because we have a nice thing of light, okay? 
We've got a nice thing of light, really simple reflections here. Not too overwhelming, okay? But look, here's our money shot right here. Do you see that? It goes boom, boom. I uh, threw in a little car. The car was parked there on the dock. You could see it. All right. What really helps this piece so much is the lost and so sorry, lost and found edges. And I'm actually going to be maybe doing a course uh, just uh, within my own Zoom group. And I'm thinking about doing a uh, sharing how you can have lost edges and nice hard edges. So lost and found edges. If that's something you like, go ahead and pound that like button and uh, let me know what you think. Um, another lovely piece I'm looking for is this one. Uh, nope, that's not it. Sorry. <laughs> Let me look here. Oh my goodness. Um, I do want to address the the uh, elephant in the room. I had someone recently uh, take a workshop and they said, hey, Gabriel, I'm having an art show. Let me come on camera here real quick. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, I'm here in my studio in Spanish Village. So that's the, the interesting background we got here. But I just want to address uh, this elephant in the room. I had somebody recently say, uh, what, what, is, what is your take, Gabriel, on, um, I took your workshop, I'm having an art show, and I needed a couple extra pieces, and could I put the paintings I did in your workshop in my, uh, my exhibit? And it's a really, really interesting fine line, okay? Um, so I just took a workshop with uh, Hamid Kapoor, uh, and uh, he's actually gonna come out here to San Diego uh, just uh, here next week, and we have a group already signed up. And um, so I did some paintings with him. And now if I were to paint exactly uh, like carbon copy what he did, I literally take those and I put them in a... Uh, You've guys seen my, seen my other studio, right? Where it has the drawers. I have stacks and stacks of paintings that I've taken workshops and I copied to learn. And here's an example. Um, right here is a painting that I did in a workshop. Okay, and it's like pretty darn close. All right, so we got a nice perspective. My goal was to start hitting on some nice hard perspectives and it's reversed image for you right now, sorry. But this painting, do you see my signature on it? No, you do not see my signature on this. It has his composition, which is a Z and it has where his shadows are, maybe the cars. I think maybe I changed a few cars, but still, still this painting, the way the buildings were lit, the, the cast shadows, 
This is not a painting that you will see framed in this gallery. Here, even in my own space, all right? Um, there is a fine, fine line. So, uh, say for instance, um, you, you really enjoyed the experience and you want to create that painting again and go back to that place and paint and change some things where it, the juxtapose and the dynamic changes, okay? This is called maturity. <laughs> this is called growth, okay? Here I have a painting. It's very, very still similar but there's elements that are different in this painting that um, my instructor um, totally did different, okay? Um, so I did sign it, but I love it so much, I don't even think I wanna sell it, to be honest, like, um, and it was actually kinda cool. And kind of sad, but we were in Santa Barbara, and guess who walks by? And uh, yes, the man himself got divorced uh, this last week, Kevin Costner, uh, the guy who played, you know, Dances with Wolves and right now and whatnot, and he walked right by us. It was kind of sad. But uh, hopefully I bump into him again at another time. <laughs> and so, uh, sorry, Kevin, I'm sorry about your divorce, but this was a painting at the courthouse uh, that I did. And see this guy pushing the lawnmower? Uh, this is totally different than my instructors and these people here, okay? Um, this is something very similar that he did, but again, I'm not making gilet prints of this, you know. There was another person that asked me a question and they said, hey, I attended your workshop. Um, I did some of the class projects. Can I make gilet prints and sell prints? And I was like, oh man. And I'm really busy right now, so I did not address it. So he watches this show also, so hopefully I would I would strongly just encourage you to paint your own things. Like, I am not big on G clay prints. I'm big on selling original art. I have one, one painting that is a bread and butter. That painting sold like less than a week and um, it was actually, uh, the folks that sold it asked if I would be willing to do a print. And they actually bought the prints. So I printed 20 of the Hotel Dell, um, a nine by 12 and a 11 by 14. I even cut mats, I put them in a nice crystal sheet and they bought them from me and it was kind of a nice deal. Uh, so, Elizabeth, oh, what's up, Elle? Hi. Um, and so, glad you're here. So, I strongly, strongly just, uh, I would hope to help pivot you to take what you learn in other workshops and you know go back out on location and try to find something similar but definitely do not make prints of your class projects i'll tell you what if the word gets out that's what you do some people will just kind of poo poo on your you know your work and it's it's kind of tough because we're supposed to be creative people, right? We're, we're supposed to create like 
amazing, beautiful art that uh, hopes transforms this world, right? And so, who made up these rules? Like, I think it's just kind of like maybe the golden rule is do unto others as you would do unto yourself. So, uh, if you wouldn't care that somebody would copy your painting and then make a G-clay print of it, uh, and you could not be, you know, bummed out, um, go for it. Personally, I have already had it happen. Um, somebody actually watched this live and painted with me, and then they put it on their Facebook, and they sold it for, like, two grand. And that size of a painting I would normally sell for, like, three sixty-five. It was a little, It was a little small guy. And she, she let me know that she sold it. I did not get any money from that deal. So anyhow, without any further ado, thank you for asking the hard questions because it's hard to answer them. Uh, I want to be encouraging. I want um, you to have a really cool art experience. Uh, but not everybody is as chill as I am and loving. So just be careful out there, okay? Let's get on this painting. Switch here. Bum, bum, bum. All right. So I was just saying that I've been working on this series of paintings. And so what I like to do at this stage, okay? Some of you have taken classes with me um, I like to pull off the tape. Um, uh, what I do is this gives me an idea of how it's coming together, okay? And uh, the nice thing is I have a cord and we are not going to have a dead battery. And... Um, so I pull back this tape and we're going to start seeing some things that, or I'm going to start seeing some things because these are, this is my painting that I want to do. Okay. Right away, this dude, something is going on with his hand right here. I do not really like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix that. So he's, He's wearing this jacket that's coming here like this. I'm going to repaint just that one little section, okay? I don't just go in there and just, like, touch up that one little spot. I paint that little shape, okay? I'm going to come back down into here like this. Coming down like that and like so. I can do a little reverse uh, painting now where I come up with some of this lovely dark because he's wearing these boots. And uh, I saw this little kind of cool little hut slash boat and uh. While I have this nice little dark, I'm going to put this part right here. This, I don't have the photo. The photo's on the phone. <laughs> so this part of the painting really starts to come together with me just looking at the actual... Uh, actual painting and how it's like coming together okay there are some parts I still have a little check off list on what I'm actually doing so this area right here this is my golden section okay how I painted this is I first painted the sky then I painted the mountain then I did all this lovely cutting around with the tree 
And then I painted these boats and shapes. Then I put this gate coming down, this handrail. And then, uh, actually before the handrail, I painted this little boat, this guy. Then I put it in this handrail. And then I started building in all this lovely stuff here. This was already all done. This is another boat, but you don't need to see all that crispy goodness, all right? Um, I had thought about going back in there, but if I did go back in here, this just needs to go darker here. Just a titch to just push this uh, forward, okay? All right, now that just pushed that back. This right here could go just a titch, a little shaded side. This is not the brush I want. I've been really enjoying this travel uh, from Escoda. Thank you to Escoda for sending me this brush. Uh, Joseph for making it. I could tighten this up here. It's not really troublesome. But I'm going to show you how I do it. And I feather it in. And I paint this whole little goodness of this little shape. And then we got some little dots and dashes. And this is all wood right here, right? There is a nice little chunk of white right there. Okay. From this light hitting it. My light is coming from this section. See these shadows here? Nice, strong, dynamic shadows. I've got to, I got to finish this motor. This motor is actually bothering me. <laughs> and uh, we're going to get some nice little blacks mixed in here. I'm going to add some nice gold yellow. Um, you know, a color I like is, you know, moon glow with a little coin gold deep mixed into it. And it makes a really nice, deeper, uh, black that's not purple. And, uh, I'm gonna build this motor up here. This comes back like this. Um, uh, it was just too gray. And one second, what was that? Oh, you know what? <laughs> uh, next door had a little Mickey Mouse problem. And uh, I think I just heard the trap uh, snap and it just startled me. <laughs> I've got to, I've got to connect these two. So sad. Well, it's just that, that time of the year, I guess. Everybody is dealing with this. Uh, Elle was telling me, and, she had a little Mickey Mouse in her studio, too. We're going to add this uh, nice little dots and dashes of goodness here. So we can create some wonderful reef uh, flexion. Here we go. Yeah. Kick that up like that. And that's, that's starting to build up. It's starting to look like an actual, let's fix this meaning. I'm not really fixing. I don't know why I even just said that. Let's finish my building of values. As we know, watercolor tends to lighten on us and we get to 
get back in there and build those lovely things. This is a little too white. So I'm gonna get some little bluish gray. Not quite lav, oops, excuse me. Not quite lavender. On this boat, it's in the shade of the other boat. I'm gonna leave some lines, um, but this gets to go just a little grayer. There we go. Nice. Bum, bum, bum. That's coming together. Let's bump this in there. And, uh,. There we go. Boop. Do -do -do. Very nice. There we go. I'm digging it. I'm digging this series of, um, and when I get it all figured out, I'll probably, uh, get a show going. And I don't know where yet. Uh, but uh, I'll probably do a show and I will invite you to my show and um, there's a shadow of another boat right here nice dun, dun, dun. a little reflection on that undercarriage of the boat right there and, um, uh, I've got some little rocks over here. And, um, uh, they just need some nice little darks. These rocks have edges and areas that get to get some attention. Now I don't want to get all the way down in this bottom region because it gets a mat, an overlapping of a mat, matting on there. Okay. It's getting there. It's getting really close. These little tune-up adjustments are quite lovely to work on because, well, it's just making it look just a little more lovely, okay? Um, I'm finding out with my own work that I can maybe push it just a little bit further. Um, I can take a nice chill pill and I can add some of these other little details uh, here and um, let's get that there we go and then um, bum, 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 my little guy he he's got a little pop belly there we go and um, you gotta ask yourself, you know, there's gonna become a point, I think, in my current growth, that you gotta ask, did I push it far enough? And I know sometimes these paintings aren't overworked. So I'm asking myself, did I give it a really good go? Did I, did I really get in there? And so you got to trust the journey, right? And in that process of growth, 
there becomes mastery, right? And so my current question to myself is, could I push my paintings just a little bit further so that they look maybe dynamic and maybe uh, really uh, lovely. So right now I'm, I'm placing this uh, kind of outlined out here and now I'm stepping away from the painting and we right now what we've got going on in here is really some nice hard edges back here we've got some lost edges and what i could do we could lo actually lose a couple extra let's lose some more edges um i recently am currently uh working on reorganizing my home studio and uh, with Labor Day, there are sales. <laughs> and I went and we've got a whole new um, storage system. for, And I found these old brushes. And this is a... Uh, you can't get these anymore. This one's made in Japan. This one is a Filbert. It was made in Spain. And uh, they, you can tell they're not Escoda because they only got the two crimps. But they're a little stiff, okay? I would not, this next thing that I do, I would not use this really nice Perla, okay? So what I'm going to do is get some semi-clean water. And let's just add some water right in here like this okay and what am i doing is i am getting in here and i am softening i'm gonna soften some edges here and i'm also creating a funnel so i was noticing that there was a real hard edge. I'm having a squirrel moment and I need to put me a little bird right here. Oh, no, oh, that's not on there. Oh, that's weird. All right, I don't need to put a bird. So I've been using this one. I'm getting kind of comfortable. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock down that edge. I'm not really scrubbing per se. Uh, I am lifting. And what I want to do here is maybe knock down those trees a little bit back there. Uh, this edge here is a little too hard for me in that edge back there. I'm going to knock down this edge right here. Even though that's a really nice edge, I'm gonna just soften that edge. Um, and maybe these trees back here. Um, I like that palm tree, but he's talking too much. And we can look at these ones here. The reason why I'm doing this in front of you, um, I'm just showing you how maybe some parts of our painting um, need some more work, okay? So back to the question, if you're just joining me, hello and welcome. Um, seeing the numbers are fluctuating, which is fine. I'm going to be on here anyways. So these palm trees are pretty far back, okay? So I want those to kind of be soft and back in the distance. 
Um, I'm going to soften this little edge here. I can soften these. There's just uh, too many hard edges um, where I need it to kind of quiet down. Yeah, this is stuff in the distance. See, I already quiet all that back there. And let's do something here. And here. I'm, I'm, I'm quieting down stuff that's trying to talk to me. Okay. I can still see that that's a fence. All right. So I still got this nice hard edge coming through here. I could lighten that up just a little bit here. Along that hot, see that little, the rail is nice and sharp right here. And I can take this little brush here and just add a little shadow right there. Oh, just got this brush. This is a calligraphy brush from my neighbor. There we go. Look how now that looks like it goes back further. Is that nice? I could do that just a little bit under here now. See that? Look how that now looks like it goes back. You see what I'm saying? See how it looks like it's back there? Let's do the same thing right here with the top of the boat. Because this edge just comes just a little too close. Those little edges back there. And this little edge here. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna take this liner, my old brush that kind of just died on me, but these little Chinese brushes, this is what happens. It's just, that's what happens. But if I turn it like that, I can still get a good paint swipe out of it. So I'm gonna come like this and create that nice little flow Boom. It's nice, warm. There it goes. Nice. I could get some nice cool red here there it is just like that um to fix not fix but gosh that word is just like stuck in my mouth today for some weird reason i never fix a painting i always just finish it all right let's get some distance between this little sign here Okay, and I'm gonna just put a nice little highlight and a highlight here and here, here. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Nice. Real nice. Hard edge right there. 
Yeah, let the light hit that. This is a fabric that's right there. Got a little carried away right there. So let's, let's manage this. A little softer, a little softer edge. Right here, this is gonna go dark. Yeah, and some of these. Let's look at this rope again. I wanted, excuse me, I wanted some movement in my rope. Um, and that rope can have some highlights down here on the ground. Get some little circular moment movements. You know, I wanted to make it look like he had this messy rope that he's got to wind back up. Could even do this and bring it back up. And smaller. If you do it again, it's got to go a little bit smaller. And maybe one like this. That's fun. This is intuitive stuff. This is, you know, what what's gonna look lovely on the painting. And all right. This little thing I didn't finish. This has a little cap right here. And since this is the one that's closer to us, it could have some little lovely hard edges. This guy has uh, some other things that are going on it. Um, that's why this nice little dark section is here. There's that one. And this one. Yeah. That is more of a gray than a white that I wanted. But it's okay. So I'm gonna do this. And it's gonna work out. Nice. This goes a little grayer. This is on the sh side. Yep, it's coming along really nice. I'm really, really happy with uh, how this is coming along. And uh, tell me if you like this. Do you like being able to see me do these little final, you know, comment? No, I'd rather see you finish one from start to finish. This is not 
a demo painting. That's the only thing is, you're getting to see a non-demo painting right now as opposed to something I would do for you at an hour. You're gonna actually see me create uh, something that I plan on having a little art show with. And um, there was this thing here. Yeah. Oh, and his hat. Haha. <laughs> Maybe a white one. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Does this need to happen? Maybe not. I want to have a big belly. It's fun to look in uh, at my phone camera to see how it's coming along. Um, how it reads, maybe. This is a white edge. Well, ladies and gentlemen, friends, thank you so much. Do you have any questions for me? If you have any questions, I'm willing um, to answer some lovely questions. Do, do, do. And if you're watching this on the replay, let me know. And I will be more than happy to uh, answer your comments then. Some of you have been really good about asking questions uh, over here on YouTube. And uh, it's helped uh, me kind of like Taylor. Debbie! Hey, Debbie! I hope your house is coming together. <laughs> um, let's just separate this a little bit. I'm not outlining. What I'm doing is I'm just getting some space. Um, right there. And I can even just take a little bit of water and lighten this here, just like this. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm digging it. You know, so if we were to look at the photo, right, you gotta be a little careful because you would probably want to put all this flat detail from the photo into your painting. And that's not necessarily uh, what we want uh, for this painting. This painting, we're wanting to capture some light that is leading us to the star of the show. Okay. And I have, yes, I have been using this, but I only get in there once and get out. I'm going to knock down this hard shape. You see how that just made it, it soft and pushed it away? Let's knock this down. Because if I knock that down, look. And I could knock this edge down this way, just a titch. I need new clean water, but we can, I can do some justice. There it is. See this nice little sun glare that's coming off of that? 
I don't want to get rid of that window though. Um, let's just drop a titch. Yeah. Like that. That is the right value to make this nice and hard. So we have this little section like this coming around here. Do you see that? This is coming in like this, here, like this, like that, and then it bumps up to here, okay? And then there's another little section right here that kicks down, goes here and groups this little section. So this is nice and quiet, okay? Back there, there's, there's not a lot of noise. It's almost like a kind of cadence, all right? So we, we see something there, but it's just giving us some visual communication that there's other boats on the other side of this ramp, okay? I know, I know some of you will want to put in all this detail in this windows and all this detail on this walkway and this other boat that's right here, okay? You're gonna wanna put in all the detail of this stuff way back here. Uh, this is a bathroom. <laughs> you think someone's gonna buy the painting because they're gonna, oh, you painted the bathroom, oh. I love that member's bath. This is the bathroom that the people that um, rent their space, they get a key to that toilet. Do you think someone's going to buy my painting because I put so much great detail in there? No, they're not, okay? And so, but they're going to go, I know this dude. I know this guy. And that's also such and such as boat. This is such and such that's not him, but I like this guy. This looks like a, a working guy, and uh, maybe, you know, he's got his you know, mess of ropes with his interesting little boat here. And so if there's one other thing I would do to this painting is just give some little splashes of water just on this little thing here. And what am I doing? I'm creating some texture, okay? Trying to find that glare for you. There it is. You see that glare? And what's going to happen, friends, is it's going to create this nice texture right there. There's a close-up on our dude. You get a nice big nose on him, a little belly. And uh, there you have it. I appreciate you stopping by today. We're going to probably do this uh, series of, you know, some boats. Uh, mainly, you know, these harbor, harbor scenes. Uh, my goal is to get 25 of these bad boys and have a show. And then I'm going to go back and do some airplane stuff. I'm really excited. San Diego is going to have. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Doc. Well, uh, I'm very grateful for you all to stop by. Thank you for being able to adjust your schedule and be here. Um, I know I did this a little bit later than I typically do. Uh, that's just because... Um, I had to honor the studio today and wait till I closed the studio. So hopefully, um, if you didn't get to see it right now, you're going to get to see it on the replay. Well, I appreciate you. Have a wonderful week. Uh, we will be back next week. Um, and uh, take care. I'll see you later. Ciao.